Woohoo! This video has zero keyframes, including this animation. And it's all possible due to my new Let Me Animate version 2. In this new version, you will get a lot of quality of life improvements, new 3D rotation animations, and some very useful extra features. So let's start with the name, which has been changed to LM Animate. And I decided from now on, all of my premium plugin will be start from LM to avoid confusion. When you drag and drop it, first thing you will notice is this show controls. So if you go to this uh, drop down menu and select fusion overlay, you will get the start animation and end animation control. But you don't know which one is which. So click on show controls and it will show you two color circles. The red and white is the starting animation and the blue and yellow is the ending animation. So now if we play the animation, you will see it start from here and went there. And here, this is the pivot control. So if you want it to zoom in from certain place like this hand, and now if I zoom in, it will zoom from that anchor point. It is useful if you want to animate a object from a certain place. So let's start with the animation. You will get in animation and out animation. So if you don't want the in animation, so you can just untick it, then you won't have the in animation. But if you want the same animation at the end, you can just check the out box and now you will have the same animation inverted at the end and if you want an inverted animation let's say you want it to invert it at the beginning so you can just click invert and now it will be inverted both at the beginning and the end the next is time controls so you can adjust the length from here and where the animation start from this start time offset but to be honest you are never going to use them because you are going to use these buttons so let's for example i wanted to start the animation from here so i can just click start here and it will automatically adjust this time offset for me so that the animation start from this place so now if i play then you will see it start from that place the lens slider is how long you want the animation so you see the animation ends here but I want the animation to go slow and end it right about here. So now I can press end here and it will adjust this lens slider. Now if I move a little back, you will see the animation actually ends at that place. So if I want the animation to end all the way here, then I can just click end here again. And now the animation will end here. Okay, so let's reset this. I wanted the animation to be one second and start let's start from the zero then we can close this animation label now before we look into this swipe keys let's talk about the easing so you see the animation already has automatically easing so you can ease in the animation using these presets so if I want back in and back out this is my favorite animation preset so you will get this kind of animation so you can very quickly change these animations so from here you can also add the motion blur now let's talk about the swipe keys it swipe between all the starting values with the end values and all the end values with the starting values so if i press this you see now how is that useful so let's say you want to continue the animation from here so you can make a cut and now if i want the animation to start from here i can just click start here i want the animation to invert it so we have the invert here but we can use the swap key to quickly invert all the values so now the animation goes like this and the follower key also works in the similar way so the follower key what it does is it copies all the end value to the starting value so for example i want the animation to continue from here so i can make a cut here then click start here click the follow key and it will copy all the ending value to the starting value so now i can continue the animation and if you are wondering why this square box is appearing it's because it's the mask value so if you just go to the more section and just turn it on and turn it off it will go vanish and at the end you get some extra features like shadow on if you press that you will get shadow and all the shadow controls let's turn it off and if you turn on shake it will add a subtle shake throughout your animation so let's turn on this off now let's move on to the 3d section so in the 3d section first you will get this sync option so what it does it it sync all the timing and the easing option with the control page so everything you set here it will also apply to the 3d section so if you have that uh, starting at the beginning and then if you change the 3d y value then it will happen at the beginning and the duration also would 
match the control page which is one second but what if you want a separate controller for 3d section in that case just uncheck this sync option and you will get a separate ease in and the start and end value so you can start the 3d animation from here let's say so the 3d animation would start from here to one second and if you uh, open this 3d animation label you will get all that uh, time control by the way if the sync option is on it will still show them but it won't work when you turn off the sync option only then this option will work this is a great way if you want to compare the animation timing with the control page and the 3d page so if i turn it off it will move back to the 3d page timing and if i turn it on it will go back to the control page timing so it's great for comparing the timings and here you get the similar option 3d in and 3d out for in animation and out animation and the invert option and here you would get all the 3d necessary option like 3d x will rotate from top to bottom the y would be left and right and the z would be the rotation in the z axis and you can change the orientation from here if you want the order to be xyz or any other you can change it from here and the same case is for this ending animation so let's reset this and now let's move on to the more option so in the more option first you get this mask so if i check this mask it will apply a mask and will give you this rectangle which you can grab and adjust the mask but there is a better use case for this mask i will uh, show you in a moment so let's turn it off for now and if you turn on this border on no matter what type of image or video you have you will get a border around that image so this is a png image and you get the border so you can increase the size from here you can change the filter from here and you can also change the color and at the bottom you notice there is a soft glow so if you turn on this soft glow you will get a soft glow and you can change the color of that glow as well with the border and you can as well increase the glow size and the gain everything and let's turn that off now let me show you the mask option why is this useful so to showcase that i would need a different image so here you see i have this image sometimes when you download an image like this you get a white background in that case you can use this mask option and then adjust to get your content and once you get it uh, you can also change the position and everything you can do it in the mask and from the corner radius you can increase it and very quickly you can turn that image into a cool icon so if i go to the control page and let's change the size of the end animation and let's click on the follow key so that it copies the size from the end animation okay so now we can animate it so if i go there and change the rotation let's make the easing expo and cubic then we will get this kind of animation and if we mix the 3d animation as well then here's the final <laughs> animation now you can make very cool animation in seconds using this tool by the way i would need more suggestion what else i can add to this more section comment down below if you have something in mind that i can add to this tool that being said you can purchase this tool from my patreon or from the link in the description in a very affordable price yes i took your feedback from version 1 uh, a lot of you guys were saying this is a little too expensive for you guys so instead of increasing the price because of these new features i have decreased it so that all of you can afford it i'm not sure how long i will be keeping in this price range but i want all of you guys to be able to afford this tool because it's going to make your workflow way easier and if you haven't used the free version then you can try the free version first then you can make your mind purchasing this paid one let me know your thoughts in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video